All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real issues, swerving crazily out of my lane. It's crazily a word, wildly out of my lane, and doing it in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. So a rock star buddy of mine uh, sent me a video, which is absolutely shocking. And, uh, you know, you can do... Uh, what you want with this. I know there are a few normies that watch this channel, meaning that they they just, they don't care. They don't care. They want to hear about, you know, um, whatever band doing whatever thing, which is the majority of content here on this channel. About two or three years ago, I decided that there were things uh, going on in the world that were actually more important than uh, feuds between uh, geezer rock bands or members in rock bands who are feuding. So I'm going to do a little screen share here because uh, I think this warrants a screen share. So um, I'm going to do a little editing here. Holy crap. So this guy talks like me. Holy crap, another one. In less than a week, three times during televised football matches, we've seen a footballer by the way, here in the United States, uh, they're called soccer players. Just want to clarify. Uh, but we've seen a footballer collapse during play. Yeah, could be anything, Dave. I don't know why you're even covering this. Uh, go back to talking about Journey, will you? All right, well, Journey's a great band. Now back to this. Uh, this time, Egyptian 30-year-old Ahmed 30-30-3-0. Is that really old? I mean, he's got to be in pretty good shape to be uh, 30 and playing soccer, right? I wish I was 30 and playing soccer, right? But um, he collapsed from a cardiac arrest. Well, this isn't completely unheard of in sports, Dave. This does happen. Well, this person who goes by concerned citizen says anyone with half a brain and who has watched this sport knows this isn't normal and can probably figure out what's causing it. Yeah, but we're not supposed to talk about it. And he says that. We're just not supposed to talk about it, and we're supposed to pretend it's not happening. Insane. Okay, so uh, they have the camera on this guy as he's um, on the ground. And um, it, this is, and I'm, I'm rolling it because this is just so sad and so ridiculous and um, most likely folks so preventable um, and people are in shock they're panicked maybe they should just ban soccer huh maybe they should just ban the sport um, there there's something going on especially with um, people who are younger who are very active because I've seen this, multiple times, but we're not supposed to worry about it, right? We're not supposed to talk about it. I noticed this, of course, uh, with certain people in the music business, too. Weird stuff is happening. How's Justin Bieber doing these days, by the way? Has anybody checked in on him? Haven't heard much about him. Um, and, you know, the whole Bob Saget thing probably hit his head on the uh, on the headboard of of the bed. Remember, remember the Bob Saget thing? Um, the football player, remember him? Is, is, is he played? Damon, is he played since that whole thing happened? Look, folks, um, it could be something completely different, right? It, it could be. But the point is, nobody is trying to find out what's causing this stuff. The media is looking the other way. Your mainstream local news, do they ever have any stories on this kind of thing? Because if it's happening to celebrities, if it's happening to athletes, um, it's most likely happening to the guy down the street who decided, you know, to do the super safe and effective thing. And he was told you can keep doing it, do it multiple times, and it's just the best thing, and you'll live a long and healthy. Do they ever promise you if you take a lot of these things that you'll live a long and healthy life? No. They don't say that. They say, you've got a problem and we've got the fix, right? And we're going to make a lot of money. 
So make sure you invest in our company too, because we're going to have, you know, record windfall profits. But are people going to get better? No, they, they, this isn't their promise. Their promise is supposedly to fix a problem, which I believe our bodies were already trained to do. Right? And so if you take away that function, if you tell the human body, hey, you don't have to do this anymore. We, we got this. God, eh, God's not that important, right? Oh, you think God put that natural thing, that natural ability inside of you to take care of this or to fight this problem? No, no. No, we can do it better. We can do it better than God. So again, I don't know if this guy went to CVS multiple times, the soccer player. All I know is he's on the ground. It's kind of like when Jesus healed the blind man. Remember that? And the blind man goes back into town, and all of the Pharisees and all of these righteous, self-righteous people, so what happened to you? I thought you were blind. What did he do to you? Did Jesus do this to you? And he's like, all I know is that I was blind and now I can see. So shut up. Basically, shut up. If you don't think he's the real deal, you know, go talk to him yourself. <laughs> Basically, he, he did this and that's the end of it. And when you show people, okay, this guy was on two feet running around chasing a soccer ball and now he's on the ground and he's having cardiac arrest. So again, it's like a self-evident truth. I, I witnessed this. I saw this for myself. The guy couldn't see, and now he can see. This guy was playing soccer. He's very healthy, but now he's down on the ground having a cardiac arrest. I mean, if this stuff, look, if this stuff isn't important to you, maybe you didn't do this and you don't care about the people that did do this. Maybe... And I've thought this a couple of times. Maybe uh, the people who did this, they're, they're getting what they deserve, right? See, um, there were a lot of people who were pressured into this, who were told that they had to do this in order to keep their job, if they wanted to perform. Like if you wanted to go out on the road, there was a whole concert protocol. I mean, there's a rider that they basically present. And they say, here are all the things that you've got to do. And of course, um, CVS. And then, oh, it, sometimes it was you take a test and you go to CVS. It could be one or the other or both. And I don't know if they're still doing this. My guess is they might still be, at least for the road crew and the members of the band, they're probably still doing this. Or they're doing some lighter version of this since the uh, Centers for um, Disease and Chaos, uh, they backed off a couple of months ago and said, hey, you know, you got to treat this uh, a little bit more like the flu. <laughs> really? Because that's what we were all saying three years ago. That's what we were saying. Well, Dave, it was much worse than that. In certain areas, it was. Yes, in certain places with certain age groups, 100% correct. But then for the vast majority of the population, it wasn't. It wasn't that much different. So anyway, folks, um, I could rant about this for another half hour. Maybe some of you would like to hear that. Um, I always say that I'm concerned about human beings. I'm concerned that this is going to happen more and that we're allowing it to happen because we're not upset. We're not protesting in the streets. We're not talking to our elected officials about this. Uh, and you've got no accountability right now with the two major presidential candidates running. One guy was the father of this program and the other guy took the baton and ran with it even further. And neither of them are going to even talk about this issue during the presidential campaign. Neither of them can talk about it. 
There's one guy out there who's running uh, as a third party guy. And he is the son of Robert Kennedy and the nephew of John F. Kennedy. And uh, he might be somebody you should look into, at least from the standpoint that he cares about this issue. And if there's ever going to be accountability on this, it's probably not going to be done at the presidential level anyway. It's, it's going to be at the grassroots level. It's going to be people who are protesting and advocating and also presenting information like, like this video. I know this video doesn't prove anything, but it is odd, right? And apparently, it's the third time it happened in a week. Eh, nothing to see here. No big deal, man. Go back to talking about Gene Simmons. Well, Gene Simmons, let's talk about Gene. Gene was one of those guys who told everybody that they had to go and do this. And he called people all kinds of names for not doing it. He was rude. He was obnoxious. And he was wrong. He was dead wrong. Okay. Um, you hear your body, your choice all the time, right? It's my body. It's my choice. How come it's my body, my choice over here, but it's not my body, my choice over there? What, what changed? Well, the politics changed. <laughs> Authoritarians decide whether it's your body or not. They're the ones that tell you if it's your choice. So it isn't your body, and apparently it's not your choice. Now, we can have a debate about the old version of your body uh, and your choice. We can have a debate about that. I'd say there might be two bodies to deal with there, and then it's a little more complicated than just your body and your choice. But that's a debate now we've had for 50 years. The other one is, hey, are you going to stick that in my arm? I don't know if I want you to do that. Well, you're selfish. You're going to kill grandma if you don't do it. I don't think it, it and, and the stats bear this out. Did it, did it really do anything? No. The stats, the stats. Go watch some John Campbell over here on uh, on YouTube, just he he's got the numbers, and there are other people. Go watch um, some Dell Big Tree. All right, look, I don't believe in every conspiracy theory that are out, that's out there. People are sending me stuff all day long, and I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, stop! All right, stop. I I, I know you mean people mean well. People are scared uh, because. If one of these things is true, then it's a domino effect. And people begin to think everything is a conspiracy against them. Now, we can debate, too, whether these people meant well. <laughs> did they mean well? Or did they have some other agenda? I would say um, the people who followed probably meant well. But the people who administered this, I think they may have had another agenda. And if they didn't, it's on them to prove it to me that they didn't have a different agenda. And that agenda, by the way, has to do with, you know, like I said in one episode, and somebody thanked me for using this term, culling, culling the herd a little bit. Too much climate change going on. Too many cars driving around and... We've got to find a way to do this where um, people, you know, they don't even know what's happening to them. And, and I think they've succeeded because then you've got people fighting about it, pushing back like, you're crazy. You're insane. I did it and I'm fine. Well, good for you. Is the, the, the guy, let me, let me do a little screen share again. Let me do it again. Is the guy on the field, is, is he doing well? How's he doing? Let's take a look at this for a, a little bit again. How's he doing? All right, now, if it's one in 50,000, it's too much. If it's one in 100,000, it's too much. I mean, remember what I said about the car seat thing? Car seats, they'll, they'll just recall the car seats. One of them fails, kid goes flying. Maybe he doesn't even die, but say the little baby dies, oh, we're, we're going to stop everything. Uh, recall those car seats. 
You know, they sent some chicken to the wrong supermarket or to the correct supermarket, but it's the wrong chicken. And it's got stuff like salmonella. What are they going to do? They're going to recall all the chicken. So if one of these has caused a problem, based on the standard that they have, not the, oh, the, the, the good of what it does outweighs the one person that um, you know keels over. No, it doesn't. It doesn't outweigh that. I'm sorry. If this is your solution, it's wrong, and you need to go back and find another solution. Because this one isn't it. Sorry, fail. That's why before Operation Warp Speed, they would um, test for years and years and years and do trials. And is this safe? And we don't want to put this out there if it's not safe. But we have an emergency. We have an emergency. And we've got fear everywhere. Fear. So fear makes people do stupid crap. We know that. And so you're able to kind of pull the wool over everybody's uh, eyes because everyone is afraid. That's not how to go about introducing a product like this. Um, nope. This um, should have never seen the light of day. But Dave, all those people, what would have happened to them? Um, <laughs> some of them might still be here. Some of them might still be here. I I'm sorry. I, that's, that's my take on this. Now, if you think this was the best thing and it saved millions and millions of people, I mean, you got one guy running for president who says it saved millions and millions and millions. I don't know if that's true. I, I, I don't have empirical data on if, if that's true or not. I do have data or I have seen data that says the opposite of this. Does, that, does anyone care? Can I, I'm going to finish up here soon. But does anybody even care? Does anyone care that humanity is, um, I don't know, we're, we're just, we are sheep being led to the slaughter in some cases? I mean, I pray every day for discernment. Help me to discern what this is. And I do. I'm not trying to be like a Pharisee here, but thank God I didn't do this and my family didn't do this. I know people who did do this. And in one case, it, it ended in their end. They're, they're no longer here. Okay? Just coincidence, right? Just a coincidence. Nothing to see here. In other cases, uh, people have gotten back to me, people on Patreon, and said, you know, I did it, and I thought I was okay, and then I started having all of these problems that I didn't have before, and now I have treatment for something that I have to do all the time. And then, of course, you've got the obvious reactions to these super safe and effective products. You have um, one of the greatest guitar players in the world, his name is Eric Clapton, and uh, he had a reaction. And this was, what, his second time doing it? He had a reaction, and the media mocked him and, and ruined him and is still trying to ruin him to this day because he had a reaction. Again, the blind man, right? I don't know what happened. I couldn't see. Now I can see. Eric Clapton, I don't know what happened, but I did this, and now I can't feel my hands and I play guitar, that might be a problem. Well, Dave, he made a recovery. <laughs> he did. But wouldn't that scare the crap out of you? Would you keep doing that? Would you keep using that safe and effective product? Of course not. You would stop immediately. And so because he's against it now, then he's the devil. Well, Eric, Eric better get on board. I hope he's up to date. Remember, I did a whole story about that where the the concert reviewer liked the concert, but prior to even going into the details about the concert, talked about how he hoped Eric had gotten up to date, had his booster. <laughs> yeah. Okay, why? So he can't play guitar anymore? Is, is that why? So maybe you don't have to go and do this stupid review that you're doing and you're missing all the details 
right? You're just making stuff up because you got the short end of the stick and you had to go review an Eric Clapton concert. Cause now it's all about politics. It's not about public health. It's about, you know, Oh, he's not on the wrong. He's on the wrong side of this issue. It's, it's too bad because he's a great guitarist. If he would just be like Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley, Sebastian Bach, uh, D. Snyder, all of these people who came out and they were like, you must do this. Okay. Okay, Mr. Rebellious, we're not going to take it. Okay. <laughs> we're going to take it. And we're going to take it right up the you know what. Folks, I know, again, some of you aren't going to follow this. You're going to think I'm crazy. Um, I've spent three years looking at all of this information and I've, I've wanted it to stop. And I, honest to goodness, wanted to be wrong. I wanted to think, yeah, maybe initially it was bad, but maybe this has some long-term effects and why don't more people care and why isn't the media trying to win a Pulitzer Prize? Because they don't care. Because they're funded by these, they're number one funding. That's the reason. Number one, turn on any television show at night, right? You're watching a show and they're going to hit you with six pharma ads sometimes in a row, or at least during the one show that you're watching. You got this problem, we've got this medication for you, and here are all the, the side effects that go along with it. And you hear the side effects could cause death. <laughs> it could cause death. Yeah, I'll, yeah, give me some of that. I won't take that risk. That's good. Could cause death. <sighs> to prevent shingles, take this and it might kill you, but it might not. So anyway, I, I guess that's the good news. It might not. And for those of you who went and did this, maybe it's not going to do anything. And let's pray that it doesn't. Um, but to continue to advocate for this and, and to continue to ignore uh, what's happening out there, is, is, it's criminal, and it really, really needs to stop. My name is Dave. Please subscribe to this channel. Every so often I do a video like this. Most of the time I just talk about music, but um, this issue for me is just too big to ignore.